Can I ask you one question? Of course. And you will answer. Yes. In uh, the World Cup, when Stuart Broad was bowling to you, Andrew Flintoff. <laughs> that I can't answer here. No, no. I want to find <laughs> out. I just need to find out. And I want to show you that moment. And I need you to tell me. You see, he's coming up. He's saying something to you. See? Going on and on. Now that's you are going up towards him. The umpire is holding you back. <laughs> what did he say? He said, uh, he said, where are we going for dinner tonight after the game? Shut up. And I said, you decide. Then he said, he, he suggested me a few places. And I said, a few, but the umpire said... You're not going to tell me? <laughs> I asked you, are you going to tell me or not? You see, sometimes on the field, uh, stuff happens. And uh, when you play for a country, you can't say those words. Okay. In Can you say all those words, leave out those gaps, we'll beep it out. Okay. He said, uh, those were dashed. Ridiculous shots, because I hit him for two boundaries in that over, and uh, I said, uh, dash you. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, excuse me. I said, you heard what I said. And he said, I will cut your throat off. <laughs> so, so um, I said, you see this bat in my hand? <laughs> so you know where I'm going to hit you? with this bag. <laughs> so it was, it was just, it was, it, was, it was a fight. And that got you worked up, didn't it? It got me really worked up. I was really angry and uh, I was, I just wanted to hit every ball out of the ground that, you know, I have to just give it back. And sometimes it's good for you, sometimes it backfires you. But on that day, I think it backfired them. It backfired them and it was so good for you because just look what happened. John. That's huge. That is a piggy. It's out of here. Two. Six balls. Look at him. <laughs> and where she goes into the crowd. Oh, the Gusev make here. Both Gusev. Now around the ring. Will it make a difference? It doesn't. It's four in a row. But tell me, cricket is about sweat and slog and blackboards and statistics. Is there any room for prayer? Do you ever pray before or during a game? The most of the time, because your heartbeat is so fast. You know, there are bowlers who are bowling 150 k's yeah. an hour, and some spinners are turning the ball really uh, far away. So you pray and you say, "Just God," you say whatever, whatever prayers, or say, "God, take of take care of me inside this." So prayers are always there. I can imagine. But tell me, which bowler do you dread facing? Uh, Murli Dharan was one bowler I hated to face because I couldn't understand which way the ball was going. And uh, Glenn McGrath, I'm glad he retired. <laughs> <laughs> So these are the two ballers which I never wanted to face. And uh, who, which batsman's wicket do you crave? What's his go out, Karnal? Kevin Peterson. Kyun? He called me a pie chucker. He said, the way I bowl, it's like pies coming towards him. <laughs> <laughs> so I just love taking his wicket. Have you got his wicket pretty often, now? Huh? Yeah, I've got him out six, seven times. He hates getting out to me and uh, he doesn't like it. And every time they ask him, that, why do you get, him, get out to him all the time? You say he's, he's, he's not a good bowler, he's just a pie chucker. You know, what's not widely known is that actually, I mean, before skating and all happened, you acted in uh, two Punjabi films. Yes, I did, but I hope you don't have those clippings. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> oh, thank God. How I wish I did. <laughs> oh. But uh, are you planning to make a comeback? Maybe when I retire, maybe, I don't know. But when you retire, we'll be very late then. 
Uh, yeah, I know I'll be late, but I can do a lot of makeup and, you know. Would you cast opposite you? Cast opposite? Definitely Akshay. Akshay opposite you? Oh, no, I mean. It's going to be a dostana. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I think, uh, I think I would love to act against Kajol. Okay, any guys, any suggestions who you think he should act opposite? <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> In today's day and age, who do you think has redefined their status to become a symbol of desirability? One of my mates is Mr. Zaheer Khan. And uh, Virat Kohli is one of the youngsters who's doing really well. Yes. These two guys are stepping up the bar every time. And what about captaincy? Wouldn't you like to captain mm. India? Yeah, it's, it's every cricketer's dream to be the captain of India. But at the moment, somebody is doing a really good job. So, but if it comes to me one day, definitely accept it. Well, I, we all hope that it will come to you, and I'm sure that it will come to you. Thank you very much. But nothing.